Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are on Lake Samish up here in the Pacific Northwest. This is one of my best friends in the whole world. This is Mr. Brad Smith. He is the owner and the operator of Silver Stag Knives, and we're up here to design and build our new pocket knife, which so many of y'all have been talking about. But if you love it, I mean, look at this outfit. Kuno, what do you think about my outfit right now? I'm wearing PK's boots, I'm wearing Brad's shorts, and I think I'm wearing like a toddler's top. <laughs> Yesterday, we traveled from West Palm Beach, Florida, all the way out here, and American Airlines was pretty much late on everything. And luckily, Alaska Airlines, they came in, saved the day, was able to get us here, but all of our bags were lost. Our main camera's lost, all of my gear is lost. We were gonna go catch clams last night at 11.30 because the tide was right. Well, that wasn't able to happen. None of our clothes are here. I haven't showered in two and a half days, but you know what? It's a beautiful day. Thank you, God, for what we have. So that is Drayton Harbor. You cannot go any farther north in the continental United States than that right there. If you look over there, that's White Rock, Canada. And if you just go just a little farther, that's Vancouver, Canada. But we are at, this is the Drayton Harbor Oyster Factory. Mark is a good friend of mine. I met him here two, three years ago and they have the best oysters I've ever eaten in my entire life. All right, you guys, so this is the little fish market and very few people know like my roots was fish markets, buying and selling fish. I had a little seafood market, did really well, I loved it, but I wasn't mentally capable of doing that at that time. What's your name? Ty. This is Ty. Right now we have some, a little bit of fresh uh, rockfish available. Uh, salmon's out of season right now, so we have some refresh that we got from the season. And we have some little uh, smoked salmon spread. That's good for some We're definitely food. gonna get some of that. Do you have any scallops? We have a nice frozen variety over here. That's about enough. That's it, you guys. We got clams. We got shrimp. We got scallops. And we got bags of ice. Now we're going to go over and get some oysters, and then we're heading back to the house. That is Drayton Harbor right out there. That's where these oysters come from. It's been two years since I had one of these. The last one I ate was right here. See this? Please separate shells from trash. We put them back in their beds. They take the shells of the oysters that they harvest out there, grind them up, and put them right back where they come from because this creates the habitat for new oysters to grow. I'm telling you, Mark is the single most epic dude I've ever met when it comes to this type of stuff. Five dozen. Mark went out in the weather yesterday and picked them for you guys. Right. You bet you know. Yeah. Well, that's what it's all about. Fresh seafood, good friends in the great outdoors, you guys. I'm, I am so excited. I don't know if you can tell by my mood, but I am just in the best mood today, and I love y'all. Weekend Mimosa, 750. What? The man! This is the legend right here, you guys. This is Mark. I love your place. Good to see you, man. It's a little bit different. It is so, so nice. You and the farm out there. So anytime I have talent, I want to utilize that talent. He just took me downstairs and he showed me a bunch of different oysters. So he's going to show us how to shuck the oyster and then he's going to tell us or tell you what to look for with a good oyster. Okay. Put the oyster down and then that way you're not going to stab yourself. You watch people do it in your hands and that's cool until it's not cool. Fingers really far away from it, get the angle right, drill in. <clears throat> Knife is in there about a quarter inch, turn it like a key, key you always turn to the right, Boom. hold it, turn it to the right. All right. And then it's just like filleting uh, you know, meat off of a fish. Off of fish. So you're gonna angle your knife up, you're gonna get all of it. Hopefully, <clears throat> you didn't get anything there. So that's an absolutely perfect oyster. Um, came out of the water yesterday afternoon. And what is the best way, in your opinion, to eat these oysters? I mean, straight up is pretty made good. Um, yeah, just chew the heck out of them. Um, with oysters, a lot of people think that you, you hear slurp and swallow. I'm like, no, you slurp and swallow if you're like taking a shot. You, right. you don't do that. 
If you have really good oysters, you're chewing, chewing, chewing. He's still chewing. Yeah, he's you still go chewing. through it. And you, there's different <clears throat> layers of flavor, different yeah. layers of texture. It's like a really rare piece of steak, in my opinion, right now. They're super bitey, super cold. Um, and you're going to get different flavors right now. They're really sugary. Man. Thank you very much. Let's do it. The brine, the brine. salt water that you That's can awesome. taste the sea. That's so excellent. The love, right? You can taste the love, brother. You know this guy has a passion because so many people that do something this much, they lose that passion. The fact that you still love to eat them and you still love to taste them, that means it's still right in there, man. That's awesome. I just love this place. It's got such a nice, warm, cozy feeling. You got that real fire. You got the harbor in the background. And it's about good friends, it's about good people, and I can't wait to have a big event here because we're going to cook all kinds of food. I mean, we're going to cook all kinds of stuff. This, I don't know if you would call this a vlog or what you would call this, but I'm having fun and I'm stoked you are too. You're the man. Okay, bro. Mark, I'll holler at you, okay? All right, so this is the Silver Stag Factory. Right here is where I met PK, 4th of July, two years ago. And uh, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna pick up a couple knives, but this video, we're gonna do a whole video showing the design and manufacture of our new pocket knife. We're gonna do that tomorrow, but right now we're just picking up a knife so we can go back and cook. I've never been in this shop before when it's not like, Sound of people. Oh, look at that, dude! Look how sick that is. That's why I love this guy. That's why I love this guy. Everyone who knows Brad knows he is just a great dude, great giving guy. And a lot of y'all have seen me film in this shop before. This is a brand new machine. You're all gonna see that getting used tomorrow. Most epic time I've ever used. bone and filet. I love the produce and the grocery stores out here. You can find so many like just awesome produce yeah, and just really good ingredients. I love this store. Y'all ready to make the magic happen? Just got back from the grocery store and this is peppered center cut bacon. Good, good stuff. Look what just showed up, y'all. Ain't no joke. There it is. Camera, that's PK's bag. Now let's just, this this is one of my cameras that's been lost. Hold on. Yes! Come on in, man. What's up, Scott? You're the man. Camera made it. All of our luggage made it. Baby, look. Alaska Air, huge, huge shout out. We were way up here in the middle of the mountains on the edge of Lake Samish and they dropped it off at our door. You guys rock. And this is what we're sitting here making. We're just making tons of food because uh, Houston basically took a 24 point lead and has somehow squandered that. Now, take all your bacon, lay it out flat like that and you wanna season this up. Take some of that seasoning this is Tony Satry's. Season up your bacon. Make sure you've got some good seasoning on that. And I've already squeezed some of that lemon juice on there. This is super simple. And if you lay it out properly, it's real easy. Take one of your big scallops, put it right in the middle there. Then let's get a nice piece of watercress like that. The watercress is gonna add crunch and it just adds texture to it. Take your bacon, roll it over right in the back side. This one comes this away, just like that. Take one of your skewers and go right down through this. And what you have there, ladies and gentlemen, that's called a love package. <laughs> Throw that out there on that little smoker grill contraption. Your mouth is going to basically reach around and pat you on the back and say, well done, Brad Smith. I have one well question. Done. Did you wash your hands before you started? 
I washed them this morning, and that's all that matters. <laughs> yes, everybody, I washed my hands. I washed my hands. Okay. Don't even tell me that don't look good. Stop playing. Whew. Now, you want your bacon to be down just like that. Gotta have the bacon down. You want the bacon to be getting the brunt of the heat. First off, we're gonna take some honey, put it in this bowl. Nice. Then we're gonna take some sriracha. This is a nice spicy sauce. Put it in there. And then let the sriracha and the honey start falling in love. Now, before you make this rest of the sauce, you can taste this. Oh, now let's just cut that with soy. And basically you're using like a third, third, third mixture. Ooh, now just take some of this. This is gonna just add another layer of love to this dish. You don't really need to go heavy. Those might not be the best scallops in the whole world, although they might be, but I bet you my life, they won't be the worst. I am not kidding you, the game has already started. I basically had to threaten Brad, and this is Jim over here, the first salmon trip I ever came up with him, I was fishing with this guy. They call him Montana. Look at this. Hold up. Watch. Look at that loving goodness. Look at that. And what I did was I just turned off the heat and I let these rascals just like finish up slowly. Oh my God. I'm not kidding you. I've got to end this video quick. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my whole audience. Come on, you guys. Brad. I love you. Love you, man. Jim. You look awesome. Good Scotty. Job. PK. Everybody. Cheers. Right there. Tell me what you think. Unbelievable. Best I've ever had. I've eaten seafood all my life. Just so you don't think we're lying. See that? You got that big, fat, huge scallop wrapped in the bacon. I have a word. What, what's your word? Decadent. Oh. Do you like it? It's decadent. You know what I call it? I call it freaking awesome. <laughs> what do you say, Brad? What's your word? The best. What's yours? Okay, Brad loses because he used two words. Mine is we gone. Love you guys.